U.S. customary unit conversion with whole number values, two-step conversion. Sarah cut two yards of ribbon from a spool. So I, I know I'm starting with two yards. So I'm going to write down that number as a ratio or put it over one. How much did she cut in inches? So I know I'm going to inches as my unit, or that's what I want my final answer to be. I need to multiply by a conversion ratio here to convert this two yards into inches. But if I look at my, my chart here, I don't have a conversion statement or an equality statement here that directly relates yards to inches. I have inches to feet and feet to yards, but nothing that directly relates inches to yards. So I'm going to have to use two conversion ratios here. One to take me from inches to feet, and then another one to go from feet to yards. So first we want to go inches to feet, and we're going to use this conversion information here. Well, actually, we're going to go backwards. Let me say that again. We're going to go yards to feet, and then feet two inches backwards that way. We're starting in yards. So first we're going to go yards to feet. We're going to start with this information right here. Since I have yards as my unit in the numerator in this first conversion ratio or fraction right there, I'm going to put this one yard in the denominator so that those will cancel out and the three feet goes up top. Well, right now, I've converted it to feet, but that's not where I want to be. I want to be in inches. So now I need to convert from feet to inches. So now I'm going to use this conversion statement. Since I have feet in the numerator, but I don't want to stay with feet as my final unit, I'm going to put one foot here, or this number, in the denominator so that these units will cancel and the 12 inches goes up top. Now all the units have canceled out except inches, which is where I want to be. So now I can go ahead and just multiply straight across the top and the bottom. So 2 times 3 is 6. 6 times 12 is 72. And then in the denominator, I have 1 times 1 times 1, which is just 1. So my final is... My, excuse me, my final answer is 72 inches.